Hadi, Kalia from the Richard Bay Baptist Church bringing you today's Faith Lift message. Today we start with a new series called the I Am's of Jesus. These are I Am statements that Jesus gives all the way through the book of John. And so we'll be looking through this. And really the reason why I decided to go through this series specifically was just this thought that we always know that the answer to, to life is Jesus that Christ should give us everything that we need. But the question is, do we truly understand who Christ is? Do we see him for the person that he truly is? Um, and so the question is, in your life, if Christ really is everything that we need, how do we see him? How do we make Christ part of our life? And what does he do? What role does he have? What seat does he have in your heart, in your house? And so uh, today we're going through John chapter 6. I'm going to be reading from 32 all the way through to 35. And uh, I hope that this blesses you. But let's read. It says this in verse 32. Jesus then said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And so they said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. So Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Jesus talks about this time in Exodus where Moses led the people of Israel. And in that time, God would send manna from heaven. And people would be, would be fed through the manna. And Christ is saying, and in some senses, he's pointing the fact that it wasn't Moses in the first place. It wasn't man who supplied that. It wasn't man who gave what, what the Israelites needed. It wasn't Moses. But he says, you know, in the same way that back then there was, there was a manna sent from heaven, the, the bread, and people would go daily and take that which sustained them for that day only, that portion, that day's portion. And yeah, Christ says, Back in, 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 in the Exodus, there was manna sent from heaven. But I am, and it says, the true bread. Not just the bread, but I am the true bread. This is the fulfillment. This is the everything that we need. It's not just the bread that su sustains us for a little while. No, Jesus is the true bread. The only one that really gives us that which sustains. And so Jesus says, I am the bread of life. It says, I am the bread of life. Life which is full. Life which is true. Not life as we know it, but life that is eternal. And it talks about the one part which, which gives us daily, today, what we need. But also the part that Christ gives us the bread of eternal life. Life which never ends. And it says, and I like the second part of, of uh, verse 35, as it says, Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Two things. As we see Christ as the bread of life, we've got to realize that we have to come to Him. That He's made Himself available. He has done everything from His side. He has died on the cross. He stood up again. He has laid His life down so that we can have everlasting life. His body was broken for us. But it says, you have to come to me. There I am. You have to come and receive. And it's not something that you can do to earn it. It's simply to be able to say, I am surrendering. And that coming is really it's the surrendering to God. To say, God, I realize that you sustain, you supply my every need. And then it says, whoever believes in me shall not thirst. And he kind of adds that in there as a, a second part to it. And realizing that Christ calls us to come to him, to surrender our lives to him, and to say, I believe in you, Lord. I believe, Jesus Christ, that you came, you saved me. And so, as you think upon this verse today, I pray that you would completely just surrender your hearts to Christ. That Christ would be that which sustains you. That He would be your daily bread. But not just your daily bread, the true bread that gives you everlasting life. That Christ is not just there to give us uh, what we need in trouble, but He's there to give us absolutely everything that gives life. So rely on Him, surrender completely to Him, and may He be your source continually. 
Thank you very much, and I hope this truly blesses you.